2017 marks the 25th anniversary of Yu Yu Hakusho, the action-packed series about Yusuke Otomeshi, which was a staple of 90s anime. Hi, I'm Adrian with Cartoon Hangover, and it's time to charge up that spirit gun, because we've got 107 facts about Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho's original author was Yoshihiro Togashi. Togashi attended college to become a teacher, but he was so nervous during his first practice session that he couldn't speak in front of the class. It was then that he decided that teaching wasn't for him, and turned to making manga instead. Togashi's been passionate about drawing since childhood. He was a member of his high school's art club, and apparently he was a good student, pretty different than his delinquent protagonist Yusuke. At the age of 21, Togashi made his debut in a 1987 issue of the best-selling manga magazine Weekly Shonen Jump. Togashi's first serialized manga with Shonen Jump was Tende Shawaru Cupid, a supernatural romantic comedy about a 15-year-old boy named Ryuji Koinobori and a devil girl named Maria. Yu Yu Hakusho was one of the five manga to premiere in the January 2003 release of Viz's Shonen Jump in North America, the other four being Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Sandland, and one piece. Yu Yu Hakusho was an instant phenomenon in Japan. It became part of Jump's golden trio of manga right beside Dragon Ball Z and Slam Dunk, all of which placed Jump sales at an all-time high of 6 million nationwide. The manga serialization of Yu Yu Hakusho had a four-year run starting from 1990 and ending in 1994 with a total of 19 volumes. Togashi is one of the highest earning manga kas, with an annual income of over 1 billion yen. His marriage to Sailor Moon's creator Takeuchi Naoko has earned them the title of the 2 billion yen couple, in reference to their staggering combined yearly incomes. When asked which is more important to a mangaka, story or illustration, Togashi replied, story. According to him, if you're a serialized weekly mangaka, your artistic ability will naturally improve. The story of Yu Yu Hakusho can be broken into three distinct parts. The first deals with Yusuke's death and resurrection. The second follows Yusuke's adventures as a spirit detective, alongside Kurama, Hiei, Genkai, and others. The final arc, no spoilers, explores Yusuke's revelation about his true origin and identity. When creating characters, Togashi starts by forming the story around the characters first. According to him, determining personality traits early on can be limiting, whereas placing characters in unique situations and seeing how they respond helps to create more multi-dimensional characters. Yusuke's team of companions each represent a part of his character. Kuwabara represents his human side, while Hiei represents his demon side. Kurama blends both sides together as a half-human, half-demon, much like Yusuke's character. Togashi admitted that Kurama was always meant to be a main character in the series, but Hiei wasn't. Luckily, he managed to prove himself in Togashi's eyes. Although Togashi's other series, Hunter x Hunter, is notorious for its multiple hiatuses, during the four years that Yu Yu Hakusho's manga was serialized, there were almost no breaks between weekly releases. On top of that, when Togashi was drawing Yu Yu Hakusho, he only got about 12 hours of sleep a week. This grueling schedule contributed to Togashi's his growing health problems, and you can see why he takes so many hiatuses later on with Hunter x Hunter. For Togashi, developing Yusuke's fight with Chu during the Dark Tournament was the most difficult moment for his serialization, mostly because his health had gone downhill at that point. Togashi's second most difficult moment was drawing Yusuke's battle with Sensui. Togashi admitted that he was so tired of the story that he struggled to write the most important battle. In Itsuki's final speech to Yusuke's party, he claims that he and Shinobu Sensui have had enough and want to live quietly. This speech was written to mirror Togashi's own feelings about the series at the time. Originally, Togashi wanted to inject experimental storytelling techniques to Yu Yu Hakusho. In fact, he wanted to portray the characters as if they were actors performing in a play. However, these ideas were rejected by his editor. As another way to combat his growing fatigue with the series, Togashi proposed exploring normal lives outside of the Yu Yu Hakusho storyline. This too was shut down by his editors. Finally, Togashi made the decision to conclude Yu Yu Hakusho in December 1993. For many fans, Yu Yu Hakusho's ending came too soon, but Togashi remembered feeling profound relief. He dealt with a lot of difficult editors as as well as serious health problems during those four years. Togashi admitted that Yu Yu Hakusho's artwork declined in the manga by its later chapters. With the pressure of deadlines, lack of sleep, and health problems assailing him, he felt he lost the ability to draw the way he desired. Togashi listened to the fan complaints during this time and forced himself to continue drawing each week without any assistance. He said he wanted to draw it independently, but fans would argue that the artwork only deteriorated further. Togashi decided to work without assistance after seeing manuscripts by mangaka Kazushi Hagiwara, who drew the manga Bastard. Togashi figured if his his artwork couldn't compare to Hagiwara's, then at the very least he could say he made the manga alone. After the series ended on Jump, Togashi penned a short fanfiction doujin comic using Yu Yu Hakusho's characters to explain why he ended the series early. Togashi's three main reasons for ending Yu Yu Hakusho were his physical health, loss of interest, and the desire to lead a healthy life outside of work. During its third year, Yu Yu Hakusho was awarded the 39th Shogakukan Manga Award for Best Shonen Manga in 1993. When asked about his feelings on winning the Shogakukan Manga Award, Togashi said his first thought was, Slam Dunk should have gotten this. As mentioned, Togashi also created the extremely popular manga and anime Hunter x Hunter. Though the series is plagued by an irregular publishing schedule, it's still ongoing and extremely popular to this day. Togashi's health is to blame for Hunter x Hunter's long hiatuses. He has notoriously 
bad back pain that prevents him from meeting the grueling deadlines of a manga ka. In Japan, the Yu Yu Hakusho anime debuted on October 10, 1992 and ended on January 7, 1995. It was produced by Fumiko Advertising and Fuji TV with animation provided by Studio Piero, the animation studio behind other successful anime like Naruto, Bleach, and Tokyo Ghoul. And the list goes on and on, folks. It was directed by Noriyuki Abe, who went on to direct GTO, Hikaru no Go, Detective School Q, Black Butler, and Boruto. Yu Yu Hakusho's music composer was Yusuke Homa, who later composed soundtracks for the TV animations Flame of Rekka and GTO. At the 1992 Animeji Anime Grand Prix, Yu Yu Hakusho was voted the second best anime of the year, losing to his wife's own show, Sailor Moon. However, the following two years, Yu Yu Hakusho stole first place. During the time Yu Yu Hakusho and Sailor Moon were battling it out, Kurama was repeatedly placing first on the top male character list from 1994, with Hiei steadily remained in third place. The series first aired in North America on Saturday, February 23, 2002. It debuted alongside Pilot Candidate and Gundam 0083 as some of the first anime on Adult Swim. Yu Yu Hakusho later migrated to Toonami as a weekday show. Its removal from Adult Swim meant that the anime had to be edited to fit Toonami's content requirements. The English version of the anime had countless instances of censorship. For example, Yusuke's threat to kick Hiei's ass turned to kicking his face, which is also pretty threatening considering Hiei has three eyes to protect. As previously mentioned, the Cartoon Network version of Yu Yu Hakusho was heavily censored. In fact, in one episode, Jin managed to use the line, I don't give a damn, but it was later removed for subsequent airings. Kuwabara's sister, Shizuru, is actually a chain smoker, but all of her smoking scenes were cut from the dubbed version. Yu Yu Hakusho was localized by Funimation and was one of their earliest projects alongside Dragon Ball Z. Their combined popularity kickstarted Funimation's reputation. Cartoon Network dropped Yu Yu Hakusho after the 88th episode. However, Funimation released episodes 89 through 112 on DVD, and they enjoyed the strong sales. In 2005, Yu Yu Hakusho returned to Cartoon Network for their Saturday morning block. The network started where they left off, on episode 89, Death of a Spirit Detective. The English voice for Kurama was John Bergmeier, who's best known for his work as Tian Shinhan on the Dragon Ball series. In Japan, Kurama was voiced by Megumi Ogata, who also voiced Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! and Shinji from Evangelion. The English voice for Hiei is Chuck Huber, who also voiced Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z. There's a bit of a resemblance between the two characters too, if you consider the cool personality, black hair, and sharp eyes shared by the two. Ever notice that the U's in the original title are spelt with different Japanese characters? The first U means ghost, while the second U means a trip or adventure. And now for some Easter eggs in the anime. Season 2, Episode 9, Percentage of Victory, was a production nightmare for Studio Piero. Continuity was thrown out the window for this episode, enemies switch places between cutaways, damage to the arena fixes itself in seconds, and Yusuke even changes shirts between shots. In the Japanese anime, Yusuke actually sings quite a few songs from the soundtrack himself. All Right, Akatsuki no Chikai Rising Sun, Dead or Alive Toshin, and Fire are just some of the tracks including him. In Season 2, Episode 7, Yusuke defeats Chu with a headbutt, causing Chu to fall and break the concrete tournament ring. So does that mean Yusuke's head is harder than concrete? There's a good chance. In Season 4, Episode 12, Koenma can be seen dressed as Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon. Why? It was probably a shout out to Tokashi's wife and Sailor Moon creator Naoko Takeuchi. Although we're used to seeing the Americanized title written out as Yu Yu Hakusho, the original name for the Japanese release had stars in the title, like this, Yu Star Yu Star Hakusho. Kurama's tunic is ripped up by Uro Urashima in Episode 21 of Season 2, but later the tunic looks good as new. Studio mistake or magical clothing? You decide. After death, Yusuke meets with the fairy woman of the River Styx and negotiates a deal of Koenma, who's the son of Enma, the king of hell. The combination of ancient Greek and Japanese concepts of hell paint an interesting landscape for the Yu Yu Hakusho universe. Yusuke's signature move is the Ray Gun, which is called Spirit Gun in the English dub. Though it looks and sounds like Ray Gun, the Japanese word Rei, R-E-I, means spirit, so it's pretty much a literal translation. If you combine Yu from Yusuke and Rei from Ray Gun, you get Yurei, another Japanese word for ghost. A demon that looks just like the Pokemon Pidgeotto can be seen spectating the events of the Dark Tournament. Street Fighter makes an appearance as well. In Episode 9 Season 1, we catch a glimpse of Ryu, Zangief, and Dalsim from the popular Capcom gaming franchise. Continuing the theme of arcade fighters, Yusuke makes a Virtua Fighter victory pose after defeating Nekobaba in the manga. His design even appears blocky in an attempt to replicate the game's graphics. During his senior year of college, Togashi left Shinjo City to work in Tokyo. One of his fondest memories of home was playing Tetris at the Game Center, and we see this in the anime when Kurama enters a Tetris-like game to the death with Tsukihito Amanuma. In the last episodes, the words forever for an ever were shown over white background. Many fans still ponder the meaning of these words and debate whether or not the spelling was intentional. If you're looking for a bit more closure, go to the final episode and watch the scene showing Kuwabara's reflection in the window of the train. A sign can be spotted outside of the train that says Yu Yu Hakusho End. Let's check out some more differences between the Japanese and English versions of Yu Yu Hakusho. In the English version, Yusuke said it took him six months to master the spirit wave with Genkai. In the Japanese version, it only took a month. In episode 18, the Hakusho crew encounters a series of trapdoors before fighting Seiryu. In the dubbed version, Kuwabara says the correct 
correct door is the second door to the left, but it's actually the third. However, he makes the correct statement in the subtitled version. In the English version, Elder Toguro tells Yusuke that Genkai was sent to hell during his demonic puppet show, but in the Japanese version, he actually said he was sent to heaven. In Season 3, Episode 3, Kurama plays a word game with Kaito staking their souls on the outcome. However, the original version of the game is meant to restrict Japanese hiragana and kanji characters instead of English alphabet characters. So in the English version, Kurama actually broke the rules quite a few times unscathed. In the English version of the anime, Kurama's non-human form is named Yoko Kurama. In Japanese, Yoko means spirit fox, and Kurama is a spirit fox. The English translation misinterpreted Yoko as his actual name. The English version shows Minamino Shuichi, the human side of Kurama, speak with Yoko Kurama as if they're two different entities. However, the original concept showed that Kurama implanted his soul into Shuichi's baby embryo, meaning the two share a single identity. In the English version of the anime, Keiko's name was changed to Keiko, K-A-Y-K-O instead of K-E-I-K-O, for largely unexplained reasons. Most likely, it made the name easier to pronounce for English voice actors and the audience. In the Philippines, Yusuke's name was changed to Eugene. Also, Kurama became Dennis. PA became Vincent, and Kuobara's name turned into Alfred. Um, being Filipino, and I don't understand why they did that. I'm sorry, that's weird. The title was even changed in the Philippines version. The anime was called Ghost Fighter instead of Yu Yu Hakusho. In the Hunter Hunter manga chapter 69, volume 8, there's a little cameo made by Hiei, Kurama, and Yusuke as figurines on a shelf. Hiei actually makes several surprise appearances in both the manga and anime. Justin Cook, the English voice actor for Yusuke, was also the voice director for the anime dub. In other words, many of the incredible quips that made it different from the Japanese version can be credited to him. Justin Cook was originally an ADR engineer at Funimation, but after a few lessons in voice acting from Chris Sabat, Cook was asked to try his first audition as Dende from Dragon Ball Z. Speaking of Chris Sabat, he was Justin Cook's closest friend in the industry, and Sabat voiced Kuobara who is Yusuke's best friend in the show. Justin Cook's favorite Yu Yu Hakusho ending song was Daydream Generation. In 2001, Justin Cook went on to direct Fruits Basket, his self-proclaimed favorite project right next to Yu Yu Hakusho. He also voiced Haru on that show. Now let's look at some differences between the anime and the manga. In the anime, Yusuke's transformation against Sensui includes his hair turning white and becoming long. In the manga, his hair stays the same color during the fight. Also in the anime, spoiler alert, Kurama kills Shigure in the fourth season, episode 19. But this fight is never shown in the manga. In fact, in the last book, Shigure actually makes an appearance. In the manga, Kurama had black hair. In the anime, he's one of the few boys with red hair. Comment down below on which one you like better. Now for some character stuff. Yusuke's mother, Atsuko Urameshi, was 29 years old at the start of the manga, and Yusuke was 14. That means his mother would have been only 15 or 16 when she gave birth to Yusuke. Atsuko must have had a hard time providing for her son. In various instances, we see her obtain money from the Japanese Yakuza. In the anime, psychic power is derived from the strength of one's emotions, as opposed to physical prowess. This explains why the first person to defeat Yusuke in the battle is the ghost of a little girl named Sayaka. In the English dub, the narrator describes Kurama as a 300-year-old spirit, but characters like Botan and Yomi reveal that they've known him for over 500 years. Well, according to the Japanese myth, a spirit fox is born with one tail and grows another every 1,000 years, which would make Kurama mm, 3,000 years old. Speaking of old-timers, although Koenma looks like a toddler, he's definitely not a baby. When Koenma first meets Yusuke, he's 50 times his age, which makes him at least 700 years old. Chu uses a style of drunken martial arts in which booze enhances his method. This makes the Japanese meaning of his name, Sake, even more correct. You may have noticed the psychic abilities that affect territories such as Kaito's taboo space, which are similar to stands of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. In an interview, Togashi commented by saying it was indeed a parody of the concept. Many fans have noticed the very close resemblance between Yusuke Urameshi and Gon from Togashi's other manga, Hunter x Hunter. Togashi has a type. The design for the kick-ass Mukuro of the Three Kings was based on Kushana, leader of the Torumeki in Third Army in Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. The Urameshi team includes Hiei, Kuobara, Genkai, Yusuke, and Kurama. For a human being, Genkai originally had the most powers, but that was before Yusuke came into the picture. Spoiler alert, only Kuobara and Keiko are unaware that Yukina is Hiei's sister. And since the spoiler warning was already thrown out, the two are actually twins. Togashi's favorite female character in the series is Shizuru, Kuobara's older sister, whom he likes for her cool demeanor. Togashi's least favorite character was Yukimura Keiko, who he felt was cliched and lacked personality. Togashi had admits Itsuki was actually one of his favorite characters because he represented a truly twisted state of mind. Togashi's second favorite character was Mukuro. He wanted to delve even further into her past as a slave, but Mukuro's slavery flashback was one of the most controversial scenes in the manga at the time. Togashi's favorite movie to watch was Alien, but John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness was a close second. You can see his 
love for monstrous creatures and the supernatural occult funneled into Yu Yu Hakusho. After Yu Yu Hakusho, Togashi went on to create Level E, which explored the concept of aliens roaming Earth. The anime aired as a Studio Piero and David production in 2011. There were two Yu Yu Hakusho feature films, but the English versions were poorly received because of the short runtime and entirely new voice cast. Despite the feature film's lukewarm reception, there's no doubt that Yu Yu Hakusho has many adoring fans. In March 2010, Yusuke ranked number 16 on the best male anime characters of the 1990s list compiled by the Japanese magazine New Type. Every year in Japan, Karapedia polls 10,000 readers about their favorite manga artists to see how new manga compares to classics. Yoshihiro Togashi placed 12th in the 2017 poll. Togashi also placed 13th in the 2016 poll and 11th for the year prior. In case you're wondering, Gintama author Hideaki Sorachi has placed first over the past three years, and One Piece author Eiichiro Oda has placed second. For the Yu Yu Hakusho collaboration with the Japanese game app Monster Strike, a life-size statue of the upper half of young Toguro playing on a smartphone was put on display in Tokyo. In Japan, K-Lab Games released a phone-based Yu Yu Hakusho card game. Now fans can collect their favorite characters and form their dream team. 2017 marks the 25th anniversary of the popular anime series. In celebration, a Yu Yu Hakusho-themed cafe opened at Ikebukuro from April 28th to July 2nd, 2017. The highly coveted limited edition menu item at this cafe was the Toguru Chocolate Parfait. Of course, only 10 were made per day. Now, that's ice cream worth fighting for. Also for the 25th anniversary, Studio Piero's online site is selling Kurama-themed hair oil. Now fans can have hair as beautiful and silky smooth as Kurama's. Once again, I'm Adrian and thanks for watching 107 Facts about Yu Yu Hakusho. Who's your favorite character? Did we just hit you with a nostalgia bomb? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to click that bell icon to become part of the notification squad. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing your cartoon hangover with us.